right before I um, reached out to Peloton to hopefully get a job there, I was feeling really lost in my career. And I was a fitness instructor, but I had sort of taken a sidestep and I was a little bit lost and not really sure what I was doing. I was commuting through, you know, an hour and a half each way to get to this other tech company to teach fitness there where I was not making great money and I was feeling super lost and, and like, what am I doing? What's my purpose? And um, I think those moments are super necessary though to help guide us into the next direction. So I definitely remember that. It was sort of right before Peloton where I was probably at my lowest. What got you from that lowest point to making that change? I mean, obviously you got the job right. and you were able to make something right. of it, but that takes something in you also. Yeah. It takes action. It yeah. takes reaching out, um, feeling the feelings, but not just sitting there and staying there, but actually going and making a difference because what's gonna happen if I just sit back and feel bad for myself? You need to brainstorm, you need to talk to people, connect with people, get inspired, get new ideas. And then it took you know, me hitting send on an email to John Foley to say, hey, do you have any job opportunities for me? And just, yeah, hitting send, closing the laptop and like walking away from the computer and just hoping for the best. And yeah, now I'm here. I'm always amazed at what happens when you just leave your house. Yeah. Right? And, I mean, yes. Nothing's going to happen. Yes. And by leaving your house, right. it could be sending yeah. an email. Yeah. But nothing is going to happen ever no. if you're just... I mean, you can feel your feelings. You can reflect. You yeah. can, you know, I'm a proponent of like, don't sweep things under the rug. You get a lumpy rug. Like, just feel the things. But then you have to take action after that. It's not enough to just acknowledge the feeling. What's the next step?